Jedi. It's cool. Come on, nah, you wow, wow. He trying to downplay how he was just. Yeah, he was just. Oh, actually, we got it on camera. Yeah, yeah he was just clapping his hands up and all that. So no, nah, no, nah, we on. The battle is on. Mm-hmm. I, now I just need him to um to claim the song. Everybody acting like it ain't him or it's AI or something. Just just say it's me, man. Yeah, he was he was doing well, that to test this camp, right? He's doing that to test it. The joint is all right, though. Now we got a battle. Now we say got... I put it out. Yes, yes, yes. So now that we got a battle, let's get into the next topic. Right. One day last week, let me get my computer going. Anyway, so one day last week, me and Cuzzo was chopping it up about the best rappers and whatever. And then I said, yo, do the best, do all best rappers have first album classics? Mm. So then we was like, yo, we should, that should kind of be a topic, like right, first yeah. album classics. So now I have a question. I'm going to begin with you. Wow. Name a rapper that you know of or that you may like that has a, a great rapper, I guess, whatever, that has a first album classic. Meaning the first album was a classic. Right. Or it's considered the very a classic first now. album was either established as a classic or considered a classic considered now. Considered a classic now. I'm going to go with the old. I can't even say the all-time great, but the God himself, Jay-Z. Mm. Reasonable doubt. First okay. album classic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could agree with that. And yeah. if anyone disputes that, then nah, call my phone, 555-2134. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that can't be disputed. Like yeah. we discussed before, it grew, definitely grew into a classic. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Reasonable <clears throat> doubt is the... Uh, is the joint that kind of sit, reset his uh, his flow style and it kind of took him into the future. And, and, and you know, it's, it's kind of the model of what he used, you know, going forward. Before that, he was doing a lot of fast rapping, you know. Jiggity, 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 right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Um, can I get open? Remember you know that? All that mm-hmm. was different. This, this, that when he slowed his flow down on Reasonable Doubt, that was everything. He was out of here from there. Yeah, I agree. For me, Reasonable Doubt was the first album from Hove that I heard, so you know the whole album, yeah, because of because of this guy right here. So over and over again. So on repeat, yeah, yeah. So repeat heavy. It was one of them, heavy one of them joints. Yeah. Who, who's yeah. yours though? Well, you know how I feel about Nas. I think he is like one of the greatest, and if not the greatest MC, mm. um, aside from Jay Z. But does um, he have a first album over classic? Jay-Z. Okay, I'm over Jay Z. His okay. Illmatic definitely a classic. Illmatic is uh, it was one of those slow burns, sort of like Reasonable Doubt was. Kind of like slow right, burn, right, right? You know what I'm saying? So it took a while for uh, sales and all that to catch up. But this conversation ain't about sales. This mm-hmm. is more about mm-hmm. classic albums. Good point. And yeah, Illmatic, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. going with Illmatic and Nas. Classic <laughs> first album for a classic MC. And who's your first? I don't know if I fully agree with Illmatic. For me personally. Mm. As a classic first album for Nas, but I'm gonna be real, I haven't heard many Nas albums. Yeah. Keep I, mean, it I did hear Illmatic, but I haven't heard many Nas albums. I don't know. What you <clears throat> for me, somebody that's kind of slept on, but the first album that was a classic, none other than Mason Beather, Harlem World. Mm. Was Harlem? I don't know. Harlem World was mm. a classic. Is it? Was it? You consider it a classic? Me? Myself? Yeah. I think it was. A I think it was a good album. I don't. I don't agree with it being a classic. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a classic. What are we talking Could about? Could it had the mad rapper on there? Wait, wait, wait. Could it have grown into a classic? I would think so. Mm, and, and the only reason why I say I don't think it was a classic is because you don't hear too many people still playing hard Nobody yeah, right now. Nobody so you basically <clears throat> you basing classics off what other people think? No. You well, you I'm basing classic so far. Well, look. my own taste because yeah. I still play Reasonable Doubt now. Right. I still heard some songs off Illmatic. I still, play I've actually that. still listened to a couple of tracks on Harlem World months ago. I'm not even saying recently, months ago. Just like I was Pull playing up the something list for Harlem World, and um, it kind of actually just pulled him, pulled me in. Yeah. Not discrediting anything from me. He's a dope artist, yeah, dope rapper, and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is Harlem World a classic? Yeah, nah, I don't know. Nah, nah. I think it is. And, and part of this conversation, you gotta it's 
it is considered a classic. So it has to be something that. The mad rappers. We could all have classic albums that nobody have ever heard. We could have that conversation. But I'm talking about in the culture. Is it considered a classic? No. Well, if we talk about in the culture, then no. it's not considered I mean, a classic. Yeah, That's why saying? I said it's, it's, it's an honorable mention. He Reasonable slept doubt on. and Illmatic <clears throat> are considered classes in the culture by by a, a lots of people, right? So Facts. we got to kind of mix that in too. This is true, right? This is true. First album classics, though. First album classics. First album yeah. classics. Yeah, it's considered. Um, DMX. Mm, uh, what DMX was the, what was the album? album? Was, uh, hell is hot. This was that. It's dark. It's, it's, hell, it's dark and hell is hot. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. DMX is a good one. I think DMX is definitely that. I don't know. I don't know if it's a classic though. I don't know know if it's classic. I don't know if the first one is a classic. Is it classic? Is it memorable? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't no classic. Dope. Yes. Is it a classic? classic. Mm. Definitely wasn't no no uh, classic album for that person. But then. That all that also gets us to really <laughs> like know this guy's person. That well. also gets us to think about like what's the criteria of having a making a classic album. What's a classic? Like album? what's the standard that we're going to hold it to? Oh, the yeah. album has to sound sonically good. Production has to be on par. The lyrics got to be on par. Storytelling, flows, delivery, basically it like like. Life at the death, even though that wasn't the first album, but that know, album was like a. I don't know, because it, it could be none of that, but the impact could be. Like what? Like what? I don't know. Um, impact could be massive because massive, it could right? be life changing for a lot of people. Because yeah, even though so we may not let, let's just say we we may not agree that Harlem World and Is Dark and Hellum's Hot was a first album classic, but to some people it is. If to you, me, if it if is. You're a DMX fan. Yes. No, I'm just to to three of us. Yeah. yeah, you know, we just three people. Yeah, in the scope of billions of yeah. people. That so I get what you say. We got. We just got to pick a side. Then. Yeah, we got to pick a side. Gotta pick a side. We got to pick dope. a criteria, right? And, and stick Boom! This is the list. This is what the categories I was going to use: mm. style, flow, format, production. You see what I'm know. saying? If we name enough, then we're going to find out what the criteria is. Fifty Cent. Get yeah, Dodger, that, that, that's Dodger, a classic. Classic album. Established. I think. I think it's, it's dynamically known. Yeah. At that classic yeah, that's album. definitely a classic album. Like every one of the songs was singles. Dynamic right? classic. They all did numbers. Yeah, that was press play. He took the fucking industry by storm. The impact was out of this fucking world. So ten million on that, right? Mm, yeah. At a time where and he shut and then he killed careers after that. And <laughs> definitely killed careers. You know what's crazy? That. It's a lot of new artists too that would. I'm not saying new like. 2020 and yeah. newer, but I mean, like after that, like because 50 is like what 20 2000s, yeah, late 90s, yeah, early yeah, 2000s, yeah, yeah. 2003. When yeah, we so you out. know what I'm saying? <clears throat> one of the it, crit- it's, it yeah. could go crazy. I don't know, yeah. I, I just it but could go crazy. one of the criteria to your point though is classics have to have some time to live, yeah. You like, have to, you have to I live know with people the now They always talk about My album is a classic It just came out last week How it's gonna be A fucking classic So there are people Using classic wrong Which is what the internet do right? Yeah they're using that term Yeah they use, they're throwing Around that term But it needs some time To breathe If if it came out Three years ago And you still playing it Or five years ago And you still playing it It might be on its way To a classic Yeah <laughs> You know what I'm yeah. saying So do Drake Got a classic I don't know I don't know Maybe That's a good question Not really and that's his problem. I'm not his problem. Well, does he have a first you... album classic? Does he have a first album no. classic? Does he have any classic? What was yeah, Drake's was first a, was album? A great one. He had a mixtape that um, was fire. Fire before all this yeah, album. Before was, the album. Yeah, before the album. Wasn't it called Faded? The mixtape or something like that? He had three mixtapes that was dope before But it was all his one album. of them. He had to fade on the. Fire. Yeah. That's when he was working with Weekend and all of them when they were still cool. J. Cole, first album classic. What was that? Um, I don't even. I, I, I couldn't even tell you a J Cole album. I, that I've never listened to a whole J Cole album. No, actually, Wait, I think well, no, King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds or some shit like that. Kod. Kod. There I, you go. I listened to that one. That one was yeah. dope. All I the rest of them, I was like, I don't know. But that ain't the first. That ain't the first. That's, That's like, like the third, third yeah. or fourth, maybe. So no. Um, Biggie, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. without without yeah. Ready to Die was a classic. You know what? And then in this conversation, Pac's first album is not even a classic. Was not all eyes on me is a classic, but all that's not yeah, Pox first album was a classic. So it's hard to be in this club, right? All yeah. the greats are not in this club. So mm-hmm. that's that's another to... good point too. Yeah. All right. All right. Now yeah. do all of to be a great do you have you think you think you gotta have a classic album? 
I think. Do you have to have an album? I think yeah. you gotta have a catalog. You gotta have an album, yes. You to be to considered like one of the greats? You have to have bodies of work. Yeah, that, you, yeah. you can't judge it by singles okay. alone. It, can, it, it, it doesn't matter if you're in a group or not. Does it matter if you're in a group or not? Because um, Andre 3000 is considered one of the greats and he's in a, he's been in a group. Uh, but, but he he's has a solo. dope, great lyricist. But he has solo shit, didn't he? Um, I don't oh, know. no, they did that Speaker know. Box album where Box. Big, uh, Big Boy did one and he did one. Mm -hmm. That's the Hey Ah and all of that uh, stuff. Uh, so he actually, they kind of actually changed the definition. So he does have a solo project. But it was a group project, so I got to mm -hmm. hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. I got to, I got to, I got I, 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 wasn't that Speaker Box or something? Speaker Box and, and, and the Love Below was his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they freaked it with that. <laughs> they freaked it with that. I got to so, go back and listen yeah, to that. So he's a great, but he had, he actually did have a solo album. So yeah, you got to have an album. Can you have a classic rap album and not be considered one of the greatest? No. no. Snoop. Snoop, come on, Snoop. Snoop, Snoop. Snoop is considered one of, one of the greatest. greatest? Yeah. Snoop MCs? has a classic Snoop album, I think. MCs? Not, not MCs, maybe. Rappers. Entertainers. Yeah, but MCs? He's though? up there with Drake and them. Entertainers, rappers. What do you mean? Because he he, he's not the lyrical miracle kind of nigga. But what you mean he's up there with Drake? Um, Pop Appeal. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you meant appeal, like lyrically. Um, yeah. Impact on the world. I thought is, you meant like lyrically. Um, Nah. Snoop ain't that. He started off as that, but he ain't that. He, you no have more. to have that to be considered one of the greats, though. Nah, being unique can be one of the things, too. It's because he's from it's Cali. Only, it's only one Snoop, though. <laughs> it's because he's from Cali. I'm a little biased. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, but Snoop is one of the you know most famous saying? people in the world. Ne there's never going to be another Snoop, though. There'll never be another Snoop. And that's like why ever, That's why he has the... I want to... What's the word I'm looking for? No, no, that's I, I don't want to say influence, but yeah, influence. Been, yeah, man. influence. I mean, we in the Bronx. What you think? It's double park yeah, cars yeah, everywhere. Yeah, we out here. They stepping on my point. We in the hood. We in. See, the... see the East Coast. The East Coast don't be like this, though. Yo, they start blowing. I'm just saying, if, if we, if we consider in the greatest MC or amongst the greatest, you know. The, yeah, nah. Did he have a did he have a classic album though? Was his first album classic? Chronic is classic. Chronic is dope. Doggy but that's Style not Snoop's classic. first album though. Doggy Style is classic. Doggy Style is classic. Doggy Style is his first album. Classic. And then mm. Chronic Part 2. I can't say it's classic because I haven't heard it. He got a I run of classic. I've heard the whole thing straight through. I heard a bunch of the him. songs, yeah. but. Yeah. No, it was classic. Yeah. Doggy Style is definitely classic. Yeah, I ain't gonna that. I, I definitely did like a few songs off there. I mean, I'm, I was younger. I'm like 11, 12 the at this time. Album, when he's just yo, coming he got out. skits that are classic. So they gotta, y'all gotta know that, you know? Mm -hmm. so, Man, Young Buck. Yeah, you too. Young Buck. Young Buck. Classic album. Yeah? Uh, straight out of Cashville. Straight out of Cashville. It was dope. <laughs> is it classic? Though? It was dope, but it wasn't. Listen, that's one of those is things. It that's only to me, because I was just listening so, to it. Again. I know some people that would agree with you, though. Oh, that's That would agree with was, you, though. Yo. You know, whatever he, happened, now? I don't know. That's all I was about to say. Remember, he got caught up in the whole deal with yeah, the Transformers yeah, and all that, yeah, and yeah, yeah. robots and disguise. That's unfortunate, though, because he is dope. He is dope. His music is dope. He's a dope yeah, artist. Buck. Yeah, but he's a. He's, he could have been one of them ones. He could have been. He could have been. He never got his um. Oh, his you have, also have to be. You have to be a punchline king as well. Nah, nah. Now you're getting too so. specific. It's a lot of niggas nah, with mad punchlines. Punch like but there's only a few great punchliners. Yeah, I mean, we talk about who's who's on the level of Fab. Like, Biggie, hardly nobody's on the level. Biggie, of even Biggie's not on the level of Fab. But punchlines. No. At one point, Lloyd Banks was. Yes, he was. Yes, Lloyd he Banks. is. I never really liked Lloyd Banks. But Biggie's, Biggie's definitely on the level of Fab. With no, punch as far as punchlines, Fab's whole style is punchlines. No, nobody's on the level of Fab. Um, Cameron, your guy might be Cameron, Cameron and Mace. Yeah. Mace, they might be. That Harlem thing was punchline driven. So they Cassidy were, was punchline. Cassidy's punchline. Cassidy's, Cassidy's, punchline. Cassidy's definitely punchline. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, so then you need more than punchlines to be a great dent. Now yeah, that I think about that one, shit, you definitely need more than punchlines. That's lines. just like, you know, that's one little ingredient to a rhyme. It's, I don't even know if you want to make that your whole style, but right, Fab right. was able to do it. Right. Eric B. and Rakim paid him for. I would say it's a classic after listening to it for the first time a couple of years ago. Yeah, Paid him full? Paid him full. Yeah. Man, rock dope, him. dope, dope. Check out that was, that was younger me. Yeah. When I was, I, I want to say, finding my hip hop taste. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Q-Tip? Never heard a Q-Tip no. album. No, I never listened to a Q-Tip album. Tropical Quest. Quest. That's, That's what it is right Quest. there. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> 
Uh, most Def. I never even heard of Most Def album. Heard a couple. I've of heard songs. a couple of Most Def albums. Um, Not an album. But Rick no Ross. No classic. Uh, Port of Miami, I think it was his. Yeah, something like this. Who Rick, Rick, Rick Ross? Ross? That was one where I didn't every even hear day it. is hustling. I never it? heard the whole album. Uh, I thought that was right. Right. Let's see. Um, I never really listened. I wouldn't to Rick. call that a first album classic. Yeah. Is it an album that set paved the way for his yeah. career? Yeah. Yeah. But no, nah, that's not. I wouldn't look at Rick Ross as having any classics, but he has a lot classic dope. albums. But he has a lot of dope songs. Dope <laughs> yeah. songs. He got a lot like, of shit. That mm, whole Maybach movement shit, shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to ain't taking man. nothing away from him because he can potentially put out a classic now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But he, um, he's still in the game. August Does he two, have a lot of classic August tracks? August 2006, yet? Port of Miami. Uh, uh, top spot on the Billboard 200 chart. Man, nah, okay. that shit was dope. Okay. But it take a lot to... to cause a classic. You don't even know your album's going to be a classic yeah, when you're man, making it, right? That's that's number one. That's and thing. it takes a lot for your album to be considered a classic. Like, I think, like, back in the day, it was easier because we kind of live with these songs more. What about Because of radio. Rap? Who? Ooh, cool G rap. rap. Yes, yes, yes. I yes, heard a little classic. bit of his first album. Yeah, cool. Jam. I heard that many, many moons ago. I just, I just recently listened to it, Damn. so I have to hear it again. You to listening to a lot classic. of stuff recently. Yeah, just cool recently. Jam, Road to Riches. Yes, that means you was out here like da, 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 doing homework. Yeah, Re- well, recently meaning like in the last year or so. Like just, I mean, just because I'm a connoisseur. That's because you, know? you a Jedi. Jedi is out there. You know what I'm saying? So I naturally wanna. You know what I'm saying? Respect, respect. Yeah, but to be a great MC, I guess you don't have to have the first album classic. Nah. But do you have to have a classic somewhere in and your the banks? In your thing. I Even think, a classic this, verse. To, to be a top rapper or MC, you have to have before your legacy is up, you have to have a classic or a like a um what do you call it? a, a project that kind of states you think so? You think it don't have to be classic, but it has to be like a definitive, great, solid, cohesive project album, right? You think Lauryn Hill first project was a classic? Yeah, we already know that. I don't think we have to. Nobody can. I agree. Disagree with that. Miseducation is. I, I definitely agree. It was a know, classic. It's what a lot of shit is measured against. So wait, you think Cardi B's first album was a first class? A first album classic? No. Cause it's been lived for some time, bro. Yeah, but it, it ain't. It ain't been alive long enough. What about Nikki? Yeah. First album classic? Well, no. Let me, let me, I don't know what the first album is. Let me, <laughs> Pink let me, Friday? Let me let me Pink chill. Friday. Like, it was good, but I don't know if it was a classic. I don't know if it's a classic. Lil' Kim first album, Hardcore, was definitely a classic. Lil' Kim Hardcore was a classic. classic. Biggie wrote it, not to take anything away. Yeah. But, you know. That was a cruel effort, though. She, she cheated. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> right, right. With you the had album classic. big on that, so yeah. It is what it is. But yeah, is are true. we labeling this to only hip hop or are we going broad spectrum with yeah, it? Anyway, TLC album with uh, Crazy Sexy Cool. That wasn't a first though. But that album was classic though. What? They you know, they, you know, they, you know, I mean, yeah, but maybe I need to hear what? some songs. The song I mean, but Creep maybe... is on that album. Waterfalls is on that album. Damn, what? Yeah. And my life. Life. That, the song that but we Beyonce doing... kind of did it over. But we doing first albums. We not. I don't care with them. I'm, let's, I'm, I'm so let's that. keep it. Let's stick to the script. We stick it to the script. Money over. Stick to the script. That's we stick a whole it to the script. That's a whole ball. We stick into the script. TLC first, first album, album was a classic. classic. What, what was their first friends? album? Okay. And it, okay. And it, and when you run down the songs like that, okay. And, 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 what? What's the classic? I don't know. I didn't know that was their first album. So the other one was um. Yeah, that was the first album. Crazy sexy. Damn. Okay, yeah. What was that song? Um. Ah, oh no. Yeah. Uh, it's a different on the album. TLC tip. Yeah, that was the first, the first album. One, Crazy Sexy Cool came so out like 97, 98. That was the first album yeah. class. Yeah, and that was not a class. That was. Nah. The first I ain't too proud to beg. Nah. If I need it, then I'm talking about songs, right? Right? songs on a classic album. No, we're no, talking, we're not talking about the whole Nah, that's a classic album. Y'all delusional. Okay, you got that. Nah, y'all I think delusional. You just want to be right this yeah. time. I'm just saying, y'all delusional. Y'all all just right. y'all just hip hop heads. Respect. I listen to all types of music. Remember so that? y'all see where we going with this. We're going to start yeah, yeah. doing this every couple yeah. of episodes. Yeah, but we, remember that. We scroll through memory banks and listen for first album classics. 
So just ride with us on this ride and, and I can't think uh, of that. You know, comment on comment yeah. and if you agree or disagree, please if you disagree with him, just let him know because he's here for it. But I think we covered a, a nice a nice nice little set of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So and I mean yeah. shout out to all the rappers, R and B singers, pop artists, right. country yeah. artists. We coming for y'all. We going to look for y'all first album classic. And right. We going to let yeah. you know if it is or if it ain't. Yeah, we should do other genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, got definitely, you. Definitely do other genres to. on can't it. can't just label it as hip-hop. Yeah. But yeah, we we, we, we drop it on them. Yeah, drop it on them. Yep. Now this Drop whole, the bomb on that segment at the end. Boom. Boom. Allen Iverson, statue. Congrats mm. to the guy. Shout out to him. Yeah. Let's clap it up for Alana. One Shout of the illy crossovers, the most illest. Shout and he had that commercial that. he did it and he did like the little 360 thing. This is back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Did the little 360 when they when he came out with his first pair. Um, I guess I think it was for his sneakers or whatever. The Reebok. Shout out to him, even though they're trying to make fun of the statue for being small. Mm-hmm. And they call it a sculpture, yeah. a statuette. It was mad little, but it is at it's at the training facility. Though mm-hmm. it's not in front the of the practice it's facility, not in front of the arena. <laughs> and, uh, and I mean, practice at the end of the day, if you still get memorialized with a statue, whatever, man, yeah. I'm taking it. Yeah. When did he leave the league? Because why? Why didn't? Why didn't he like um get a championship or none of that? Like, well, he didn't win a championship. That's the why he was question. there. Yeah. No. How many? Well, how many years was he in the league? That I couldn't tell you. This is that from ninety nine to two thousand five? Oh, that, that's oh, he just was in the league for fourteen years. Uh, he was in the league for fourteen years. Played with Philly, Denver, Detroit, Memphis. Yeah, he played with a Damn. couple of teams. Uh, in twenty ten, he signed a contract in Turkey. I didn't even know that. I wasn't aware he was in the. He, he was in the for NBA years. for fourteen years. Fourteen years, yeah, yeah. and he played two years in Turkey. Something happened with him. Um, what happened with? Some, I feel like something happened with his career, though. It was. It, he was one of the first ones to try to slander because he had the braids on and he had the baggy. Oh, that's that's, that's what it was, and the tattoos like was and all that. Street and all of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think he. No, I, the I think he had some like legal like problems and stuff. Yeah, because something happened. I, I, I I'm not one hundred percent sure. sure. I'm not one. I, I didn't know sure. it was 14 years he was in the league. I did not know. But that. I don't think he. I don't think so he exited. Right, he definitely from, had a chance. I don't think he exited for injury and things like that. I think it's more like a black balling thing, if that makes sense. That's what I felt like. Like yeah. something kind of like a whole happened. Michael Vick situation, yeah, I, I but just, just Googled, not with animals. I just googled this shit. Google gave me its own opinion. It says a lack of discipline. Both on and off the court. Yeah, like he, off the court, he, he had a was, lot of problems that started to weigh him down as he started to lose a step or two on the court. That's what they said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. As a player, he only knew one way to play games. Mm-hmm. Give everything you have and never stop. So they say. So they say. <laughs> so they say. Fuck Google. Damn, 14 years. So you definitely had like ample opportunity to win the championship. And overseas. I thought it was like five years though in the NBA. I, I don't nah, know why. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't think it was 14. Didn't he go to the finals a couple of times or something like that? He was a scoring champ. I know that. Yeah. Because right. of the, the stats. He was up always here. in damn near every All-Star game yep. since he came into the league. times, yo. From 2000 to 2010. That's yeah. That, that was... <laughs> How he got 11 times. Led the league in steals. Nah, because you count times. that year, you right. that intro year, 2000. Right. To two guys, all NBA first team three times, scoring titles, but MVP not that. of the whole league. Mm. I don't and, know if that's and, once or twice. And on top of all of that, crossing Jordan up. Yeah, yeah. that cross was crazy. Yeah. Was iconic. Yeah. But Jordan that won that game. Moment. Jordan won that game. Yeah, but AI still gave him. Thirty something in that business. game. Yeah, gave but Jordan business. still won. Don't 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 discredit. I get that the from victory. Mook, though. Gave him business. Almost, almost, <laughs> yeah, Mook said almost that. Almost broke his ankles. Mook almost said broke that. His ankles. I don't remember nobody that broke Jordan's ankles. But he AI did. still dropped thirty on him. Yeah, like some, yeah. He, he said that some. Hey. He balanced some dude in Philly some freestyle on that. That's a fact, bro. What y'all think about battle rap? Where's y'all random real quick? Quick pause on the AI. Do, do y'all follow battle rap? Uh, not no more. Not anymore. I, used yeah, I haven't to. really been too into it lately either. It's boring to me now. I think the elite battle rappers are not battling anymore. Yeah. And yeah. The, the new battle rappers are just not cutting it. Yeah. And the it, new ones are copying off of the old yeah, ones. Yeah, I was about to say that. And so, it's not, and they all starting to sound the, the same. same. It's not exciting no now. more. It's the same old template. Mm-hmm. They still got to go back to the veterans, the, the anchors of it, to like 
You always gonna hear battles from you know Murder Mook, Loaded Lux, Sue Surf, Aver, J Mills, J Mills, Bill Collector. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bill Collector. Bill yeah. Collector was on the run before they jumped. I'm him. mad he stopped doing it. It's all about the burner. And yeah, then I got that yeah. line. Oh, that was like a it. good little mantra of his. And, and you know he, he was the illest because he rhymed without a beat, but it sounded like he got a beat yeah. in the background. Yeah. He was so dope with that. Yeah. And then they had to punch him in the face, and he never was the same. Never man. was the same. But but he made a little comeback, though. Like, he's been... He's back now. Yeah, he's back now. Yeah. And he did a... You probably heard it before. He did a, a, a battle on beat. Where he was like, we liked you better when, the, yeah. when you was a Oh, you saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta that check shit that was out. fresh. That That's shit was fresh. Though. That's old, though. Yeah. Shout out to Bill Collector. But my favorite Shout battle rapper, Collector. one of them right now will probably be... Or, or overall, I gotta say, be Magic. Because if you never heard of Be Magic, go listen to Be Magic. He That's knows the, the game. Cali. 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 West Coast. Set up, yeah, set up, punchline. He's right? from St. Louis. Set up, up, set up, punchline. Set up, set up, punchline. Like that? What's yes. up? He crib. What's St. Louis is yeah, not yeah. Westside, is it? It's like mid. He, well, it's like Midwest. Okay, St. Louis, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll give you that. That's Midwest. Yeah. That's yeah. Midwest. I mean, Midwest right, got everything. That's his West you know? bias. He got it. They got to have nah, West. They got, got to have West gangs everywhere. Got it. Yeah, it don't even matter. matter. But <laughs> but I like B Magic because he's set up, set up punchline, set up, set up punchline, and the punchline be ill. Nah, B Magic is dope. Yeah, he follows the the tr- the proper cadence for the battle Ooh. rap. But get back on it, AI dope player. Salute sixty points. Yeah. Against Orlando Magic. And I believe he getting paid for the rest oh. of his life. Yeah. You know, the dope thing he did was um um his uh I think it was his, his he spent only his endorsement money. I think something like this. You correct me if I'm wrong. But his NBA money was put into a trust, a trust, trust. until mm-hmm. he got like 30 something or something, some age. So he's just getting that money back. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Man. You know, which is dope. So he's still a millionaire. He's still a millionaire. Because he knew that was, that that was, was smart. Dope. That was real That's smart. That's smart business decision. You know what's smart. crazy, like, Don't let me have this money until 20 years from now. You know what's crazy, you Get though, time to mature, get wiser. Some baseball players just did that. Mm. But you sound like a 200-something million dollar contract. Baseball players get that. And it's only taking $2 million a year. Yeah. Mm. For and I think the contract oh, was yeah, like yeah. for I ten think, years. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once he retired, he's getting like yeah. twenty mil or five mil a year going for. Bro, that's like, dope. That's dope. Because all this time when you're in the league, the league is taking care of you anyway. Oh, you're yeah. paying for travel. You're, you're not paying, paying for, for travel. Food. You're not paying for you medical. Well you save that that money. Shit. Nothing. So what you doing? Buying and, cars and, and, and buying. That's what I was about to say. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Let me take two mil. Tricking it on chicks every year. And then once I'm done, ready to quit, yeah, yeah. man, I'm I'm set. Set now so, I can be a whole other, do a whole other thing, right? Dope financial moves is dope being made, moves. man. So yeah, that was smart of him. What's man. crazy though? I, this is going all the way off topic, and I don't know if y'all even following this, but what y'all think about LeBron James son, entering into the draft? Now you know. All right, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave that segment yeah. for you. Cam and Maze, I want to know what y'all think about that, yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't wait to see that episode. Yeah, I'm, even I'm though out y'all the loop when it comes to like... Yeah, but, we, but uh, we, what we all know is he ain't on no highlights, yeah, nowhere yeah, definitely. to be talking about he going to the league. I could leave it right there, and I'm sure y'all all agree. Yeah. Like, He's LeBron's son. Yeah. He's and gonna and get that... That's the only that, reason that's the red carpet the rolled out. That's fucking up the game. That's it what is. it they is. Call that, what they call that? Nepotism. Nepotism. You know what I'm saying? That's Genie that Bus, nepotist shit. I know what you're doing, Genie Bus. I know you want the seats and the tickets sold and seats and butts in the seats and all of this. Hey, yo. But don't do it, yo. Don't let him punk you into doing that, yo. Do not sign this dude. I'm, there's nothing against the dude. The dude is cool, but he is not NBA ready, yo. He's not. Now, LeBron, Bronny don't mess with nobody. You know, he's a nice kid. Um, I champion him, and we want all the good things to come to him. But if he ain't ready, he ain't ready, yo. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm only gonna have to say that I I agree with that, and the main reason is is I don't know these niggas. So. <laughs> <laughs> right when the and with that too. said, moving <laughs> right along, <laughs> moving right along, we are at the top. We ain't even at the top of the hour. We're in the middle of the hour, cool. really. Are children more violent now than they were in the nineties? We gonna start on that side. Are children more violent now than it was in the nineties? Um, it's something we was we talked about. Quick answer: yes or no. Yes. 
Yeah. You? I don't know. I'm going to say no. The reason, well, I'm going to say, I might say yes, because basically that story right there, 17 year old black girl did something wrong. I don't know if it was at school or where it was, but her mom found out about it, took her phone as a punishment. She basically stabbed up her mom's killed her and then stabbed her brother up for technology. So I think technology mm. is the reason why children are more violent or, or more prone to being violent nowadays. Also, because mm. the, the video games, what they expose you to, so it desensitizes you to, to violence. Mm. I done played the Call of Duties and you get to shoot dudes' heads off and mm. all that mm. and you get the, you know, it's real intricate. I remember blowing up a whip and it, it kind of flew over my head and yeah. all that. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no. It Man, desensitizes you to it. You really get, you know, you, you know a lot about guns that you you ain't never even seen yeah, a gun. But P90s after you play Call of Duty in the first couple of seasons, you know everything You get real guns. familiar with them. <laughs> Um, the movies that's out now is yeah. way more graphic than they were back in the day. I'm still gotta, saying no. I gotta say. What you mean no? Like kids were violent, more violent back then. You mean you think? I'm saying they're the same. Okay, yeah. violent. Okay. Know what I mean? Yeah. You, you just the times has changed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Violence is violence, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. Whether it's with a gun, whether it was a knife. Niggas were getting shot back in the day. Oh, yeah. Niggas were getting stabbed back in the day. Niggas yeah. getting shot today. Niggas were getting stabbed today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is it more... I'm not even going to say it's more extreme because you didn't really hear about people killing their parents. You know what I'm saying? Right. But not too many extreme years ago, right. and I'm not, I'm not trying to put this story out there, but it was a story in the Bronx where a nigga... Chopped up his mother and brother and threw them in the river. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I used to get a haircut where this nigga got his haircut mm -hmm. out. And this yeah, nigga right. strolled his mother down to Roberto Clemente Park and threw them in the river. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. What made that, him that right, way? That I don't know. See, this is where you got to take it, though, too. Um, are they more violent now? I don't know if they're more violent. You know, I grew up in South Central LA where drive-bys every night. I'm saying I'm saying every night, and it's not even a, a hard exaggeration, really. Anybody that grew up in the '80s, '90s, well, '90s is what I grew yeah. Up. They called it the grimy '90s for a yo, reason. Yo, I mean, and so people, innocent bystanders, people that had nothing to do with that, getting shot up in parties all the time. Mm -hmm. Then you talk about going to the crack era. Crack era, people got shot and killed all the time. Yeah, this um, is true. But then you think about. Um, so everywhere you start thinking about, they used to be kind of codes. Everybody wasn't into the streets back when we was coming up. It was now certain, it's, it was it's certain a, it's a fad crew, right now. You knew who they was, and they were who they was. Um, it's a fad right so, now. So and if you wasn't part fad. of that street crew or you wasn't in the streets, you but could now have to be a like, hundred. You know, these days say, it's just random. I don't know. I don't know. But when I say it's a fad, I mean like every every other culture loves the street. Hip hop culture, they 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 just love it. Like, yeah. well, that's different than yeah. it's a fad. That's what that's what I'm yeah, saying. It's, it's always, that's a different type of fad. Yeah. But me talking violence, it's always been violence, like violence, and it's always been that naive person that wants to be involved What's because that? either one they don't have a dad, yeah. they they moms is in the street, or they feel like they being bullied by the neighborhood. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. So when you join these gangs. We have this different type of family. There's always been that fad. You see what I'm there's saying? Always been that, yeah. that, there's, well, there's always been that there's, circumstance. I don't know if there was a fad. Then. I don't want to call that it a That sounds more like a necessity. I don't even think it was a necessity because it was people. If a person is getting bullied to him, it's a necessity for him to, in your, in I'm your just, situation, I use that get one, with the gang. I use that one general. thing generally. Yeah. I'm just saying it were people like who's like, yo, you... You outside every day. Let's just say it like this, right? We was outside every day. We yeah. stand on the corners mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the drug dealers. Mm -hmm. Da da da. This down the third. Yeah. We drink. Nigga, yeah. we 13, 14. Yeah. We infatuated with the street life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's something in certain people that pulls them closer than others. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But, but so it's, it's always that infatuation more. with the street. Yeah, it's just. Depending on the person, but there were certain lines back then, though. And I, and think, I think part of it is 
part of it is social media influence on everybody, though, right? Um, but it was certain lines to it. Like, like we they still beat back, differently back then now. You still had right. athletes. You had the drug dealer gangbangers. You had um, the school, the nerds. All three of those people occupied different spaces. Sometimes they were part of the same space. Yeah, you know, but they everybody knew they roll. Even the drug dealers would tell them, "You, you about to, something about to happen." You need to get up out of but here. But I feel like you got you know more crazy saying? people now, definitely, in, at least in New York City, than I ever seen in the city before, or more druggies, whatever you want to yeah. call it, than I've seen before. Being on a train, before it used to be, I, I say once every 10, 15 train rides, I may see something crazy or may see a yeah. crazy homeless man or whatever. Now, every time you get on a train, you, you can pretty much yeah. guarantee you're going to see something. See, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the what if, happened. So back to our question. Yeah. Though, the the root of the question is: um, Are uh, kids more violent? Are kids more violent? I don't. I, I think we got to change that because it's not everything's more violent now. I don't think so. I'm and, telling I, you. I think. Um, I think after the pandemic, everybody's dealing with some kind of PTSD. People have mental illness, so things are a little more violent now. You, Everybody's on the edge for everything. You want to know it's crazy? Like, I was having this conversation with somebody. Not just on mental illness, but just, like, being aware of shit, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, when you was younger, right? And no shade to anyone who's experiencing this or has a kid experiencing this, but autism and Down syndrome, mm. you never really paid attention to those kids. Yeah. Now, it... it Full right in your face. Yeah. Autism awareness, Down syndrome, this, mm -hmm. that, and the third. You can tell now. Mm -hmm. Before, you really wasn't able to tell. No. Just like when people were still in the closet. Yeah. You had the assumption of, mm, is this person really like that? Yeah, now yeah. it's just smack dead in your face. Right. So I say that to say this. Desensitization. You, <laughs> you said when you don't know, you don't know many, 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 many moons right. ago. Right. So yeah. when you don't know and you're you not know. looking for it, you, <laughs> you don't, don't know. know. Yeah. But yeah. it's there. Yeah. So the violence is there. It's always been yeah. there. Yeah. You just weren't paying attention. And now the news and the headlines and the social media is it's more easier to access it and see it. Nah, so teenagers I, were I, back I like in the nineties. Like you can't point. teenagers back in the nineties weren't wasn't running around shooting each other in, yes, the, in they New York was. City. Yes, like they, they are was, now. Bro. No. Bro, we grew up with diggers who were 16, bro. These niggas were 16. We was like 10, 11. Yeah. That's a big age gap. Yeah. These niggas was going out of town doing a whole bunch of, bunch of shit. Yeah, right, right. Bro, Nowadays, what are like you... how is these literal junior high school school kids doing this? Hold on. We got to pause this because we can't talk about this on camera. 12, 13 year old? We got to like, pause this because we can't talk about this on camera. Please pause this because I don't want I don't want this to come back. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah. So, this part. is we're, we're This being... shit has been happening since happening. Yeah. Violence you know has always happened, but at the rate it's happening now... Because right. of the social only reason, media, the, or that's the only reason why you know kids it's killing themselves because more. of well, because of being made fun of on social media. Like we didn't have to worry about being made fun of for some crazy shit on social media. Could you imagine if we would have Facebook back then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you had to worry what? about getting beat up on a yeah, block in front of your bitch. Yeah, yeah. But imagine, yeah. this, and shit. now, but now it's niggas know shit. that somebody's mom does OnlyFans. Right. It's the That's same That's a different shit, dynamic. Bro. That'll make you want to go kill somebody. Niggas the knew malls was maker. Niggas knew malls was crackheads. Yeah. Niggas but was now, serving niggas malls. That's crack. different. Right. That's different because now, hands, bro. now you can your send man pictures. is selling yeah. your mom's crack. Yeah. Now you can what send pictures. Yeah. But yeah. this is what I'm saying. Yeah, when nah. you don't know, you and don't know. That's not violent so, though. That is violent. Violence is violence. If I if you do something to me and I react to you and hurt you, that's violence, nigga. What are you talking about? Yo, the, the okay. way your hat's sitting on you is kind of... kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit's moving this shit. Shit, dangling and all that. <laughs> but Bro, but it's a lot to it. You know, it... it Nah. I like I like what you said. It's, it's always been there. It's and always I, and been I, there. I, I, we know it's always been I there, but now too, it's just more but, intense. But it's a no. difference with kids now. So if we talk intense. back to kids, it's a difference with kids now. If you look now. at the, the, the numbers be, from wait, the wait, 90s to now... You're going to see that there's way more murders and killings now. Overall, agree or disagree, kids used to respect elders. Facts. Overall. Back, and that was back in the day. All right? Just, it was a thing. Respect disagree. your elders. We agree right? on that. Um, Nowadays, that's not a thing. That's not a thing no more. 
Like, but that's um, not vi- that part of it is not violence. But but, but, but that it's produces the, it, 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 violence. It, it, thank you. You, it, you. you got kids it, running around punching seventy year olds in the face. Yes, that yes, never it. happened before. But wait, wait. We and talk- then the drug dealers on the block wouldn't even let that talk happen. to him. Exactly. Talk to this nigga. No, it, 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 that goes to back to we get ready to talk to you. I'm getting ready to talk to you. That goes back to codes and lines and boundaries. Right. People stayed in a place. You hustling, right. you in violence, you stayed in that place. There were morals back then. More people were moral based but back I don't, I then. You now, have your outliers that weren't. I think now anything goes, and that's what right. makes it more violence. We me. live in that society where, where nothing's wrong. There's no shame. Anything so, goes. All right, hold on, because we got to block this Come part on. out too. <laughs> so said, no, I'm just, that, I'm that just standing on it, right? Right. The, you said something. You said if you look at the statistics from back in the day mm. to now that there's been more killings, right? Yes. But you did not say that there's been more data that shows that more kids are killing. More kids are killing. Good point. Now, now, now you say that, though. I'm saying it. I'm standing on it. Okay, cool. I mean, it is what that's, it is. That's a good point. I'm saying that niggas was killing back then, kids, and kids it's is killing, killing back now. now. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's but a lot involved, my, my whole point is just like how they they try to ban a certain type of music. Just like when you killed that bird, killed nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you was a kid that killed a living thing oh, psych- back in the day. Psychotic ass. Yeah, but that wasn't like violence. And that was back... No, what? That's, that's ultimate violence. Throwing a rock on something ain't violence? Nah, that's not, the, that's it's not human violence. on human violence. That bird deserved that so shit. So it doesn't have a soul? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that bird. It doesn't have a soul? <laughs> <laughs> the bird don't deserve that. Shout to you, Peter, but you know what? That bird saying? tried to play me, so I had to let him yeah. have it. Yeah. Gave it to him. That's kind of psychotic. You know Gave what they it say. to him. You know what I say about kids that do that? <laughs> that's real psychopathic. Yeah, they turn into killers. Psychopath, that's the word. Psychopathic. So but yeah. Know. I'm standing on it. Violence was the same. Not yeah. the same 100%, but they similar. Yeah. I'm and it's, it's definitely... It. It's definitely being shown I'm going to say now it's more vulgar. It's more cameras Now world, people man. are doing things to get more clout. They knocking people out on camera. Yeah. They fighting on camera. They shooting people on camera to get clout. So I'm going to say it's well, definitely more now. Let's, let's, not forget, let's not forget the whole Chirac and the, that, that, that whole Thank wave you. of things. But, but wait, Thank that, that wait didn't exist second. in the night. Let's wait a second. Thank let's you. Let's wait a second. Let's not forget this. Hold up, hold up. Let him eat. And drill rap and all of this. Let's not forget all of that. So let's not act like none of that stuff exactly and that's specific to this time that's specific to this time the okay. the, the king bonds respectable and all of that yeah. come on honorably mentioned and honorably rest in peace and to the pop noted. smokes yeah. and all that right. but you know come on duly noted right but you mentioned clout right nah i don't remember that you just said niggas My point was being, was niggas, you said clout did right. he not say something nah, they, they said doing things for clout he said okay. right okay. so boom Certain niggas was joining people. gangs and the gang initiation was to go cut a nigga, go rob a nigga, right. go do that all for clout, for that street wasn't for clout. clout. That yes, was it to, was. What are that you was to, about, bro? That was to show that you was down. That was to show that you had heart. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. That was to show that you had heart and you was down. Clout. Not done. Clout. Clout. It's the same shit. The word clout, clout is the same. The clout word is clout vague, means bro. you want influence over people. You want business influence. Yeah, you're doing it for influence. You're doing it for influence in the gang. Thank you. Thank you. So right. I'll give you that. I'll give you the clout thing. I'm done. But nowadays, they I'm definitely done. doing it for that clout. Hell I'm yeah. done. They would have never recorded themselves on cameras knocking somebody else out back in the 90s. First of all, they would have told you to turn the camera off. Nobody had first a camera of all, back then. First of all, a lot of these niggas ain't recording it. They getting caught on camera. That's a difference. Nah, though. they had a game called the knockout game. They was that was themselves. back in the day, though. Nah. That was back in the day. That was always existed. Internet though. Era. That was that back in the existed. day. This is internet though. era, right? That was back. This is early that internet. Existed before this is internet, internet. Thank you. This is five years ago. I was back ago. in. The, no, it wasn't, bro. You can look on. You can look on. Bro, TikTok niggas right got now. ring. When you knock a nigga out, you get a special yeah, ring, bro. But, but they look. That's. But I'm saying years ago. No, no, no. I'm talking about the TikTok challenge, bro. This is on the. Gram, we, so you saying it's not on the gram? You just Am said I bugging? before the TikTok challenge. No, this you're is, saying that. You're saying back in the day. Yes, I'm saying I'm, this I'm is, telling this you, is niggas was going around internet. knocking niggas out for fun, bro. Yeah. Nah, it wasn't called the knockout game in the '90s, era. and they was filming it. Every era they did that. Every every era, bro. Yeah, like even yeah, before the what internet. You do? They I get what you're saying, but you're superimposing. Like I could say bro. they they played the boxing game. You could say, but niggas was boxing back then. Yeah. But now it was it's a different. 
it's a different stigma it's to it. It's not different. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. It's the same shit. It's the same. It's, the same. it's, the same. it's, nah. same shit, it's just more people got cameras to record it. That's all. That's it. That's it. I mean, and more okay. people was getting caught on camera doing the dumb shit. Yeah. So then it's, it's not a more so violent world. If they, and they recorded themselves So it's, it's doing not a more shit. violent world. There were world no then. cameras back in the day. So it's not a more violent world. world. And and there weren't that many people getting caught. So it's not a more violent world. Like you knew who did what. But you were scared to say who did what. You're saying. Now the camera is saying that nigga did it. So you're saying. So y'all saying the world is more peaceful now I didn't say than it was like that. back in the day. It wasn't peaceful back then, and it ain't. But peaceful is it more back peaceful now? now? It, it has to be more or less. No, which I'm is no, it? No, America's more or less. America's it's America's the same. So if I look up the numbers, the num- if I look up the numbers right now, look up the It's gonna right be now. exactly the same. It's, it's the gonna same. say fifty percent. Yeah, that's what he's saying. I, that's not what I said. You're no saying it's going to be the same. My, I what did not say that. So stand on something. What are you saying? I did saying? not say that. What if we look we up the numbers about? from back in the day, I don't know what the numbers Dude, back in the day is going to say about killings versus teenage killings now. Whatever you want to look know. up. I don't know. The, the question or the question says, are they more violent? Not killing. Are they yes. more violent? I said but no. They were violent killings, back then, though. and they are violent now. Yeah. I didn't say they were killings. less violent. I didn't say they were more violent. I but said they were are, violent. Violence includes killings, though. No, it doesn't, bro. You could have a fight and be violent. That's bro. not true. You could kick somebody and be violent. No, that's not true. You could true. be violent and verbal. That's not According true. According to the FBI, the rate of reported violent crime in the United States has been decreasing since 1990. This nigga feel like an asshole. I don't. So it, it, it does show that there's movement in it. It's going down. So it's it, it a went more down. peaceful world. But it's, but it, you, it's saying, a more peaceful world with more cameras. But he's so it saying, seems like it's he's more saying violent. it's more when violent. I'm, when, when I'm wrong, I can admit I'm wrong. So I'm wrong on that one. I mean, and I still but don't even it's think still, that, that it's still, that's right. It's still a difference. They're going to say violent crime nearly quadrupled between 1960 and its peak in 91. I wonder what happened in 91. Property crime more than doubled over the same period. So 91, Crack. what happened in 91? Crack. Um, Wasn't that the... the was it um, the crime the, bill? The law crime bill that mm, was passed or whatever? Let's, let's see what that... Because mm. ah. that three strikes slow niggas down. But I am going to follow up those numbers. I'm not just going to believe oh, yeah. what Bill he said. Clinton. Bill Clinton, the crime, crime bill, bill uh, 94. It was introduced in 93. Cause then we got I the crime with all these did. immigrants. I don't know if that was crimes. part of it, though. I gotta look. I gotta, but that's interesting. Yeah. So it's yeah. actually less violent, but more. Let popular. me do my little research now, though. Now oh, that you did interesting. judge. Interesting. Let me see. Are there more? I see what I'm throwing up. Right, West Coast. See what I'm throwing up. Yeah. What's up, homie? Let's do 19. This nigga yeah, got this me hot. Like, this nigga got me hot. Decreases. Since he got me hot. That was the mission, man. Look, look. In the 60s, they was doing all of this anti-war shit bro. and all of this shit. He got me hot, bro. The, the hippies was around in the 60s. Then I was more violent. Well, then you had all the um, 60s and 70s. You had all the serial killers coming up. Yeah, 95, them grimy 90s got it. All I'm just saying yeah. is that... Them grimy 90s got it. Yeah. And Brooklyn was Violent was violent. Niggas was violent back then. Niggas is violent now. Where it's just at? more... It's more... And I, I would say people more desensitized to it now, It's more in your yeah. face now, Because it's more exposed. That's a fact. We could agree with that. Like you said, games, TV, movies, cartoons, and we all desensitized to it. And... and and all kinds of trauma we desensitize yeah, to. Yeah, movies. Yeah. It's crazy that that girl killed her moms over a phone, though. Yeah. Like, that... That, that shows the standards But change, that though. also goes to... I think we also had another conversation the on... reason for violence. Why teens don't date, bro. Remember, oh, yeah. I think we was trying to get a situation like that going yeah. and saying, do they date more? And I'm like, nah, they really nah, don't. They nah. all on the phone. They, they, they doing that. PlayStation. Everything. They talk to people on they PlayStation more than people. they talk to real people. It's because of the fact, devices. Right? Yeah. All but these that devices. That makes you socially um, <laughs> awkward. 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 In your life. And socially inept, inept to hold conversations. Is, right. In different settings with real people, yeah, because you got to figure people, back in the yeah. day, we was forced to have to talk to somebody and go outside, conversate, go, mom, get to know said, somebody. Get out the house, don't you come had the back network back in the, the day, period. <laughs> don't come out here until the lights right. come on. We used, to, we used to be all over California from the time before the lights come on. We come back home, 
We used they to don't bike even ask ride. Who he was. We used to go <laughs> bike saying? riding, go on different mission. parties, go on city. missions. We all in another city. They didn't even check. And you for basically it. you had to fend for yourself. I just yeah. want I just want to say this to be clear, right? We went on missions to do what? Oh, we was just you know bike ride. No, 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 no. What you mean? With chicks. We went on missions to Van Cortland to do what? I'm not gonna say that. All right then, violent. All right, but I'm not gonna say violent. That, it doesn't matter though. We right. just in the grimy nineties, like the you grimy said. 90s. Right there. I have been corrected on that. Okay. I, I, I can never go I just against that. It's, it's, that. it's the grimy nineties. Yeah. Right. You happy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> One yeah. So crimes went down. <laughs> He's <stupid>. One zero. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, Kendrick. I don't aim to be right. These you niggas right. talking out there. I aim for truth, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Bow. I'm way too paranoid for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I ain't a street let's nigga, it, but I'm bro. in the streets, nigga. <laughs> you heard? You he said, let's, hey, get, hey, it, let's get it, bro. Let's get it, bro. Yo, he said that shit like he meant that shit, yo. Yeah. Let's yeah. get it, bro. <laughs> you want to smoke? I want to smoke today, too. I'm uh, glad that topic You said, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Shout out to yeah, the UK, though. though. Shit, shit, shit went down. What? It's, it's, it's the crime. That's ill since the 90s. I heard, I heard that somewhere before. Yeah, I gotta look it up because with with no disrespect, but with all these immigrants coming in, I've been hearing a lot about crime going up. But I guess in comparison to the '90s, it hasn't risen that much on the grand scheme yeah, of things. I mean, early '90s in the Bronx, half these buildings was half. They wasn't buildings. here. Man, they was, yeah, there was half buildings. It was half. Yeah, there was a lot of shit abandoned. going on. You didn't even want to be outside after dark around this motherfucker. Yeah.